Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me well. well. The kitty train. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. and Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers. Let's, Let's go! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You kids have a great trip. We'll be here waiting for you. Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal, so we can go faster. At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? <sighs> oh. Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. Why? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it. Hmm? <gasps> Who took my hat? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Fresh, yummy popcorn. Oh. oh, no. Now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who's driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there, I'm gonna do it! Or, I'm too slow. No! <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? It's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops. You know? Yeah, the brake lever! Must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo choo choo! choo. Oh, it's great to drive the choo-choo Up the tracks along the way In our awesome, cool, true, blue Choo-choo train, what a perfect day Choo-choo-choo The train is really going Puffing smoke into the air When they hear the whistle blowing Then they'll know that we are there this time around, everyone had a turn driving the train. And Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. 
<sighs> hey, play hide and seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay then, ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> And this is pudding. <laughs> Looky, it's cookie. Yay! Let's play again. Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek, and I'll hide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if he were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy! The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. The Talking Birdie. One day, Daddy was busy as usual dreaming up recipes. And so the next step is to take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and then top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. That sounds very yummy. Better write it down, my dear. Daddy, Daddy did, did you, you call us? us? Pudding, little candy, and cookie. Dad, did you just say I was raspberry flavored? Your sweet Daddy has just thought up a yummy new dessert recipe. Right. Kitties, before I forget, guess what? The neighbors have gone away for a little trip and have asked us to look after their parrot. There's going to be a real live parrot here? Hooray! Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Birdie, birdie, birdie! You know, I read somewhere that parrots can talk. The birdie can talk? That's awesome! 
Well, go on, Birdie. Say something. Don't be shy. Say something. Say something. Maybe she doesn't want to talk stuck in a cage like that. Well, let's let her out then. Okay, we're listening. Maybe she's a little hungry. Well, what do you say? Say thank you. What you should say is thank you. Maybe the birdie likes candy? Want some candy, girl? Not yet. You can have it if you say please. Maybe she's just too little and hasn't learned how to say anything yet. We should try to teach her. The huh? kitty cats tried to think of just the right word to teach the parrot. Hmm. I think we should teach her how to say boo. Oh. Then when the neighbors get back, she could really scare them. <laughs> but how could we be certain she'd only scare them? What if she started scaring everybody? Boo! Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, maybe we should teach her to say, uh, something like congratulations. Because that's a word everybody likes hearing. But pudding, congratulations is what you say when something good happens, not just whenever. <gasps> congratulations! Oh. Oh. Congratulations! We should teach him a word that's normal and simple. Something like, hi there. You're right. The bird won't scare anybody if he says that. Hi there. 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 Uh, what? Kittens, could you please go play somewhere else? I just wrote the last step of my new recipe as hi there. Now, what was supposed to happen after you take the hot cookie out of the oven? Take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. <sighs> <sighs> The clever parrot had remembered Dad's recipe perfectly. Thank you. That's it exactly. Well, I guess you do know how to talk after all. Thank you. Candy, please. Congratulations. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> how come you didn't say anything before when we asked you to talk? Well, my darlings, maybe you were talking too much yourselves. And she didn't have a chance to get a single word in. Ah. We're very sorry, Birdie. We should give you time to answer. Birdie? Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh, oh awesome. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Pudding. You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. That night, they all tried Daddy's new cookie recipe, and their new parrot friend talked so much, it was hard to believe it had ever been quiet at all. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Huh? Hi, Hi there. there. Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We can help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh, could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> Hey, my teeth are up here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm, it's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky, they must be stopped. <laughs> Huh? Onions detected, uh, onions detected. Uh...
Run for your life! There are onions in the soup! Blah. You could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot! If there were inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, ah. Uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dart didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's, That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something. Especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha, Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. Ah! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw! I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now, pudding, after me! I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. 
<laughs> I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can-can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't can't can can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, uh, no, guys, no, right? Not no nervous. need to be nervous, my See, love. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> gonna be doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. <sighs> Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun! Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's, that's so cool! cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy! This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! 
Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line! Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So Wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. The Super Cats! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were reading exciting superhero comics. So cool! Look at Glow Kitty. He can shoot light in the dark from his eyes just like lanterns. And Fur Cat can instantly unleash the mighty power of Fluff. Yeah, but Lightning Cat's the best. Look at the lightning shooting out of her paws. Being a superhero is just so awesome. Uh-huh. All of them have some kind of super amazing power. Hey, why don't we play a superhero game? We could make our very own super outfits. And super names. And we can have super awesome powers, right? Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And so the excited Super Kitty Cats began making their costumes. Captain Strong! Cape Cat! Meow Girl! To, to the, the rescue! rescue. like actual superheroes. Superheroes have got to have someone to save, though. I could be the pretty cat in trouble, guys. You know, waiting to be rescued. And then one of you can save the day. Hey, hey that's, that's great. great! So I'll be the one to save her with Cape Cat's superpower of flight. Goodness, someone please save me! Horrible! Her dress will get all wet. Um... Ha-ha! <laughs> You're my superhero, Cape Cat. Thanks. Nah, this rescue is really a job for Captain Strong with my super-powered muscles. Goodness, someone please save me! A meteor's coming! It doesn't look friendly. Oh. <laughs> You're my superhero, Captain Strong. Wait, wait, wait! I'll be doing the rescuing here myself. I'm Meow Girl, and I can move things with my incredible mind. Goodness, someone please save me! Gosh, there's a fire. Mm. Oh. 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 My superest <laughs> hero ever is Meow Girl. And plus, Cupcake is my friend, so I should really be the one who rescues her. We're all friends with Cupcake. Yeah, we should let her pick who saves her. Hey! Oh. Oh. I'm ready to be rescued, guys, anytime. I'm pretty scared of heights. Cupcake was playing the part of a cat stuck up in a tree. 
Cape Cat's ready to fly to the rescue. Yeah, rescue time. So you've been saved, Cupcake. You can come down. Wait, here comes Meow Girl. I will bring you safely back down with my Mega Mind. Rescue time. Done, come down. Where's the fun in that, though? I'd look awkward climbing back down by myself. What kind of rescue is that? Um, none of us actually have superpowers. You know that, right? And so we aren't really able to save you. Oh, goodness. Guess I shouldn't have climbed up here, right? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, goodness, someone please save me! Cupcake is about to fall on a cactus! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> I have a really good idea. Cookie, grab on tight to the tree trunk, and then Pudding, you just grab a hold of his cape and pull it as hard as you possibly can. Ugh. <laughs> Jump for it, Cupcake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! You three just saved Cupcake for real! Hey, yeah! With the super thinking of Candy's brain... Hmm. Pudding's mega strong muscles. Hmm. And with Cookie's super cape. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're all my superheroes. Working together, we can solve almost any problem. Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Think you could save me next? And me! <laughs> it turned out working together was the kitten's real superpower. They were a real super team. The Super Kitty Cats. New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve, and the entire family was getting ready to celebrate. Well, kittens, you don't have to go to bed at 9 p.m. You can stay up until midnight and welcome the New Year. For the first time ever, you can celebrate New Year's like the grown-ups do. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Staying up till midnight, New Year's Eve is out of sight. New Year's comes when the little hand and the big hand are both at the top. Looks like all we need to do is wait for a bit. And five minutes later... How long until New Year's? I'm a little bit bored, guys. We should do something then. Why don't we help Mommy? Mommy, huh? Mom, uh... Mommy! Oh. We'd like to help you out. <laughs> Thanks, my little darlings, but I can manage on my own. All right, let's go help Daddy, then. Daddy, need any help? Uh, oh, uh, thanks, my kittens. <laughs> but I have to set up the fireworks display outside. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, and it's not a safe job for kittens. Sorry. Why don't we just watch TV for a while? Then time will probably completely fly. Oh, our favorite pirate show is on. Great! Just then, the clock struck nine. Be the TV's fault. What? No, it's just that nine o'clock is the time when we always go to bed. But if I fall asleep, I'll miss the fun. <laughs> hey guys, we should put buckets of water on our heads like so, because you can't fall asleep when you're balancing H2O. Yeah, but what if we drop them? <gasps> oh, no, we do not want to be dripping wet when the new year starts, because how you start the new year, well, that's how you'll be the entire year long. Hey, you know what? We should go outside now. It's too cold out there to ever fall asleep. <laughs> How can we start the new year if we're stuck inside an icicle? <laughs> I have a really good idea. Why don't we pass the time by wrapping the things we got for our friends for New Year's presents? That way we're bound to stay awake, guys. Wrapping New Year's presents can be a very fun thing to do, but it can also be really tiring. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Oh. Hey, candy, cookie pudding, midnight's almost arrived. Oh, <laughs> just look. It's a pile of precious New Year's presents. <laughs> Let's just let them continue sleeping. Well, it's quite a shame, but that's all right. 
We could try for New Year's with the kittens next year. Hmm. Oh! It turns out Candy had set their alarm clock so they wouldn't miss the New Year. Morning, everybody. Oh, no! Did we fall asleep and miss New Year's? There's 30 minutes till midnight, so you didn't miss it. I had a great nap. I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> and, and five, and, and four, and three, and two, and, and one, and, and then, then Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cat's friends had managed to stay awake, too. Happy New Year! The kittens exchange their New Year's gifts. Guess what? Daddy set up fireworks outside, you guys. The kitty cat's first grown-up New Year's Eve was fun, fireworks, and a friend-filled success. And none of them felt the least bit sleepy. Nap time. One day, the kittens were visiting Grandma. Now then, little kittens, it's time for your nap. You can get some lovely rest right there in your nice new hammocks. Nap time? But naps are for little babies. Oh, we wanted to blow bubbles after lunch. Yeah, that's way more fun than sleeping for an hour. Little ones, it's good to have a nice, healthy rest. Come along, you might just have a great idea in your sleep. For example, one time a well-known scientist dreamed up a wonderful invention whilst he was sleeping. And it became a very famous scientific discovery. One very famous artist would lay down to sleep and then wake up and paint the extraordinary and crazy things he dreamed about. Wow, I love that! Cool! I say let's nap! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sleepy at all. I'm not either. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not too late to go back to our original plan. <laughs> Why aren't you sleeping? Well, because, uh... Oh, the mosquitoes are bugging us. Grandma hung up special nets to protect the kittens from insects. The mosquitoes won't bother you any longer. Sleep well, kittens. We have to find a place to blow bubbles where Grandma won't be able to see us. <laughs> <laughs> My kittens. Huh? You're still not sleeping? Well, um, you see, the ducks are keeping us up. That's right. With all their quacking and quacking, how could we sleep? Oh, I guess they must be hungry. We need to find some food for them. <laughs> Now then, the ducks won't bother you two at all. But Cookie and Candy didn't want to take a nap. Cookie, candy, pudding, Daddy's here. Keep it down. The kittens are taking a nap. 
<laughs> Doesn't look like they are to me. Sorry, Grandma, but we don't need naps anymore. They're really just no use at all. You're wrong about that. Guess what? While I was sleeping, I came up with a way to blow a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. <laughs> I know what we should do next time. We should actually sleep when Grandma says it's nap time. Then maybe we'll dream up some really great ideas. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that taking a little rest during the day is very useful and good for you. Cookie Scooter Skills One day the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. <laughs> Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super Skill Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat! Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial! I've been saving up! I want to use my money to get it! Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No! A normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness! <laughs> okay, well since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa! Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa! Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> wow. wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time. Like, for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome!
some bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow. The kittens learn that every skill requires practice. Then you can do cool tricks on any scooter. <laughs> <laughs>